everyone, today I'm showing you how I did this yellow eyeshadow makeup look. I think this makeup is perfect for spring and for summer, so let's just get started. For primer, I'm starting off with Arborean's Glow Cream. This will make my skin look really dewy and give off a really beautiful glow. And just a little bit of this goes a really long way. For my base, I'm actually going to use this BT Cosmetics Berry Collagen Pact. This is the only thing I've been using on my face recently and I love it. It has really great coverage and I know the collagen is going to help nourish and moisturize my skin throughout the day. This product does move around a little bit so we will have to set it later. Now I'm using this concealer from up here to help with more of my stubborn spots. I'm spraying a little bit of MAC Fix Plus over my face, then I'm going to powder and set my face with this oil control film packed also from up here. Moving on to brows, I'm going to fill mine in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm in the color Ebony. Before moving on to eyeshadow, we can't forget to prime the lids and prep them for all that color. Now I'm going into the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette and I'm taking the color Vibrate. I'm just going to apply this loosely over my lids and it's just going to act as my base color. Now I'm taking the color Hot Spell from the palette and applying that to the outer areas of my eyes in a rounded upward motion. These two steps are completely optional, I just wanted to give my eyes a little bit of dimension. Finally moving on to the yellow eyeshadow. I'm using Makeup Forever's Aqua XL Color Paint to get that bold, vibrant look. I like to apply the product on the back of my hand first and then use my fingers to warm up the product before applying it on my eyes. I find that this is kind of the best way to apply and use this product. I like to apply this in a padding motion and then I slowly build up the color. After that, I like to use a small brush to help pat in the color and get more precision, especially for the inner corner of my eyes. You can also use a clean fluffy brush, I'm using the brush from earlier, to blend out the outer edges so that it's not so harsh. For eyeliner, I'm using this brown liquid liner from Dolly Wink. I prefer using brown because I want to go for a much softer look, but you can feel free to use a black liner if you want to. I'm drawing my usual winged liner, but instead of starting from all the way in the inner corner, I'm actually going to start from the middle of my eyes. For lashes, I'm using my ultimate favorite, the Ardell Wispies. And for the bottom lash line, I'm not going to do anything there, I'm just going to leave it bare. For contour, I'm using Avon's True Color Contour Stick and I'm going to contour my nose first. This product is a bit more tacky, it's not as easy to move around, so I want to make sure I can contour my nose first before applying it to the rest of my face. I like applying it under the cheekbones and also on the sides of my face and the sides of my forehead. For blush, I'm actually using this lip product from M Cosmetics. It's in the color Faded Clementine. It's a beautiful orange color. I didn't have an orange blush laying around, so I kind of improvised. I like putting this product on the back of my hand first and then using my fingers to apply it onto my face. It's a little bit less intimidating that way. It goes on pretty strong, but once you blend it out, it looks really beautiful. I also like to use the fluffy face brush from earlier to help blend it in further. Now to get that roasted sun-kissed look, I'm also going to be using this blush cushion from 3CE. This is in the color soft brown. I'm just going to take a little bit on the cushion and start applying it in my lower cheek area and then pat my way upwards. To draw on the freckles, I'm using Benefit's brow pencil in number four. I first like to go over my existing freckles or sunspots. I think this gives off the most natural look. And then I'll dot a little bit here and there, just sporadically over the center of my face. For highlighter, I'm using this one from Ofra. It's called Rodeo Drive, and it's a really nice, warm-toned, golden color. I'm applying this over my cheekbones and also very carefully over my nose bridge. For lip color, I'm using my current favorite from 3CE. This is in the color New Nude. 
I'm applying this pretty liberally over my lips because I want to give it a really soft smudged look and not so much of the perfected sculpted lip. And to finish off the look, I'm throwing on a pair of gold framed glasses. 